Today we are going to discuss about modules and controllers in AngularJS. Let's start with modules. Modules is a container for different parts of your application. Different parts mean controllers, services, filters, etc. Modules can be considered as the main method that wires different parts of your application. In other words, modules declaratively specify how an application should be bootstrapped. So here we consider how to create a module in AngularJS. As you can see, this is the format for creating a module in AngularJS. We use module method of Angular object for creating new module. And there are many two parameters. First parameter is the name of the module. And second parameter is the array of modules in which the new module depends upon. Here we place it as an empty array. Let's consider how to create a controller in AngularJS. First of all, a controller in AngularJS is a purely a JavaScript constructor function. Controllers bind the model with data for showing the final result in the view. It's same as the MVC architecture. Let's consider how to create a controller in AngularJS. For that, create a JavaScript constructor function as shown in this figure and assign its J variable. Here, the variable is first controller. As you can see, in this constructor function, we are passing one input parameter, dollar $scope. Dollar $scope is the input parameter that is attached with this controller. It will be available in set controller. Model will be attached with this scope object. As you can see, we can fill the data in the model with respect to the scope object. Here we consider the model object data holder will be filled with the value this is my first add and this model object will be available in the view with respect to the scope object. That means if you register the controller in the view, the data holder, the model object will be available inside view. Let's start with an example here. As you can see, this is my solution Angular application and I have referenced angular min.js that means the cd inversion and i'm going to write a code in the javascript file for creating modules and controllers first of all we need to refer this angular min.js to your javascript file so that the intelligence will be available here i'm going to create a module we use the module method of angular object for creating a new module here, mainly there are two parameters. First is the name of the parameter and second is the array of dependencies on which this module depends upon. The second parameter is the array of other modules on which this module depends upon. Here, we place it as an empty array. We use the module method of Angular object for creating new module. Now, let's consider how to create a controller in AngularJS. So, first of all, create a JavaScript construct function and then assign its J variable. Like that, we can create a controller in AngularJS. Here, while creating a constructor function, we need to pass one input parameter, that is $scope. Model will be attached with the scope object. We have to fill the value to this model object in set controller. Here the model object is data holder. We are filling this is my first app to this data holder. If you register this controller in the view, we can get the model object data holder in said view. Now next step is to register this controller in said module. For that we use the controller object in said module method and there are mainly two parameters. First is the name of the control name and second is the control function itself. Now let's see how this works in HTML page. As you can see, this is my HTML page and I have only registered the Angular Mint.js. Now let's drag the newly created script file that is Angular script.js inside head section. Okay. Now next step is to register the module, module name. I am registering it to the HTML tag ng app equals the name of the module that is name module itself. 
OK. Now the next step is to register the controller. Why I am registering controller? Because I need to get the value inside this data holder, the model. So if I need to get the value inside data holder, I need to first register the controller and then get the value from the model. So let's register the controller name here. The name of the controller is control name. Just copy that and and paste it somewhere inside this HTML page where you want to show the output of the model. Here I am selecting this particular div for showing the output. I am registering the controller here. ng controller equals the name of the controller that is controller name. By this way we can register the controller in the HTML page. Now for showing the output of the model that is this data holder we can use the double curly bracket inside this registered controller section that is within this double curly bracket if you use the model name that is data holder we can get the output of the model. Let's see that in runtime. Yes, as you can see, I'm getting the output of the model. That is, this is my first app. If you remember the Angular script.js, the value we assigned to this data holder was this is my first app. And we are able to display the output of this model. This is my first app. So in this section we have discussed about modules, controllers and registering the controllers in said modules and getting the value from the model which is registered in said this controller. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.